Uh, good morning, everybody, and uh, we're looking at a couple of meetings for Saturday the 12th of May, and the action turns to uh, Doombin and Morfordville. We're heading to Morfordville, um, where we have the South Australian Derby coming up, and uh, it's interesting to note that uh, on the prediction here, it looks like we could get a good price about civil disobedience. This is the uh, rear runner, and if you just have a look at his form, rated well on Flemington on the 1st of January, ran a great race and a great rating at Flemington, and then a couple of starts later, uh, got in in Hobart on the 9th of February for a, uh, a very good win there by three lengths. Uh, never, never contested really. Went over to uh, Ellerslie by the looks of it, and then came back after a break to resume at Morfordville on the 14th of April. So a couple of runs since that little bit of break and uh, with a bit of luck could be the one to win the derby. Okay. So um, plenty of action though. Once you get outside that there are plenty, plenty, plenty of other chances. And it does look like it will be in these top five here. So um, that's the derby. Uh, we're looking now to the uh, uh, 1100 sprint and have a look at how close this is. If you have a look here um, all the way down you can see there's a mass of horses in this that are all capable of winning this race. That's all based on the best race times up to date and so it's going to be a very difficult one for not only for us but for all punters. Even if you look up on the score of consistency, here we've got a mass of horses. All um, horses have done very well over time and uh, there are a number of other um, ways we can look at this. For example, if you look at this one, once again, I noticed that uh, Desert Flashes uh, crops up in every assessment that I can see. Here it is here, it's uh, rated second by us. And so it's uh, quite a way up there for most of the ratings. Okay, so that's uh, more from all tomorrow. Then we've got some other good races there where we've got Bird Whistle. He's not only a short price favourite, but we've rated it really short price. And no doubt this particular race will be a qualifying seaplane race for us. So keep an eye out. The track is expected to be good tomorrow, a good four at the very worst. And so we're looking forward to that considering that some of the other tracks, uh, particularly Caulfield tomorrow, is expected to be quite wet and we probably won't be doing much down there. Okay, good luck and thanks for calling. Uh, don't forget to go to our website for more information and the daily uh, information on our website. Um, uh, professional punters diary with uh, what's going on in racing and also for example as I, you can see there the Doombin tracks improving has gone up from a heavy 8 on Wednesday it's now up to a soft 6 by tomorrow it should be at least a soft 5 possibly even going up to be good and the other information is crown bet now you get access to all the sky racing channels which is great uh, you can watch uh, sky 1 sky 2 See all your racing there as you're placing your bets. Good luck and thanks for watching.